Don't worry, this isn't a lost child announcement. <laughs> Here we are, back again, in front of the shit mat. I've got a haircut, it enhances my ears, that's what you want. So today's video is going to be another one based on my stand-up, because you seemed to really like it last time. The point of today's video is to show you what I believe is my best ever joke. You might not find it funny, you might think it's disgusting. Uh, but I'll show you that towards the end, I'll show you some more clips throughout. I've also been looking, and I've, I've found some of my old stand-up, like one of my very first gigs. Uh, here's a clip from it. Valentine's Day on Friday. Yeah. Uh, I spent it by impersonating a, uh, a self-harmer. <laughs> by that, I mean a, uh, I locked myself in a room and ended up with two sore wrists. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So, if we get 2,000 likes on this video, I'll show you it, alright? One of my very first gigs. Uh, but let's be honest, if we don't get 2,000 likes, I'll, I'll probably upload it anyway. Now, a question I, I get asked a lot is about heckles and, uh, and being heckled. Uh, in one of my very first gigs, I got heckled. Not really, but, you know, an audience member spoke. So this is how you shoot down a heckler. And I've got the nipple has to prove it. I'm married. There's a guy. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> he regretted that one. Really witty response from me. Anyway, uh, let's get into some comedy. My first joke, uh, it, this just makes me laugh. See what you think. <laughs> it's so frustrating being constipated because, you know, you know, pooing's an easy thing here. Yeah. I can usually do it in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not bad, it's not great. At the end of the day, it's a joke about me shitting myself. You know, the truth is always funniest. And if you're wondering what the sling and bandage is, that wasn't a, some sort of character I was trying out at, I genuinely had an accident. Let's head over to the comedy store, I think this is the last time I was there, uh, and you'll probably see why now. What's your name, sir? Dominic, pal. Like it. <laughs> Audience banter done, let's move on. <laughs> Pathetic. That's what I am. Anyway, uh, I live at home with my mum, there's a shock. And it's a birthday next week, and, and that's got me pretty nervous, you know, because I'm terrible when it comes to buying a gift. I always seem to get it wrong. So I asked her what she wanted for her birthday. She, mm, just gave me something for my hair. Just spotted the, the couple walking out. You know, I could see that in the corner of my eye. And the little part of me died. Something for my hair. Sounds so easy. So I went to the shops, looked at the shampoos and conditioners, and it was just a minefield of insults. And it was like, Tresemme for damaged hair. Herbal essences for greasy hair. Well, you don't see that on the adverts, do you? Just Cheryl Cole going, L'Oreal, because you're her shit. Ridiculous. <laughs> you know, uh, my mum always gets me, my mum always gets me joke presents. You know, things I'll never use, like uh, age-defying moisturiser, razors. <laughs> Last year she got me condoms. <laughs> Now, one thing that bothered me was that stand-up comedians always talk about groupies that see them after the shows and stuff. I never got that. Well, at least not female ones under 40. Now I watch this back, I, I can see why. Who would be attracted to that? Now it's time for what I believe is my best ever joke. Uh, we're at the comedy store, I'm wearing a white polo shirt, and I sound like I've got a blocked nose. You know, it's a classic setup. Last Christmas, my nan got an iPad. A fucking iPad, what's the point? I mean, this woman still thinks a selfie stick is another word for dildo. <laughs> Safe to say we didn't get those photos framed. <laughs> well, that's me written out of the will. What I love most is, is how people clap that. You know, they, they congratulated me for telling a joke about my nan, uh, you know, committing an atrocity with a selfie stick. That joke just always seemed to get a really good reaction. And yes, it's disgusting when you think about it. But obviously it's not my real nan, um, she was a step-nan. So my nan had this iPad, and she didn't know how to work it. She kept on asking me questions like, how do you switch it on? How do you play Daniel O'Donnell? How do you send a picture? And I didn't mind the questions at first, but then six words came out of her mouth, and I've not looked at her in the same way since. She turned to me and went, how do you delete your history? <laughs> Nan! 
It was disgusting. And I scrolled through and I've never seen so many pictures of Paul Hollywood's cock. I think it's fair to say he's given my nan a few soggy bottoms. <laughs> I mean, I went too far, let's be honest. And the moral of the story is, you can joke about your nan's sex life so much, but don't mention soggy bottoms, you know? Don't bring the bake-off into it. So if for some sick reason you enjoy watching these stand-up videos, please leave a like. Uh, and if you've, you know, ever caught your nan masturbating, write that in the comment section below. And if you're new here, subscribe, or don't, you know, um, morally you shouldn't. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, fantastic. Hope you have a good day and stay safe. I've developed this technique and I call it the, uh, the slide and wipe. <laughs> so I'm sort of getting off like this. Not for the first time. <laughs>